I've had them for just shy of five months now. And as you saw how easy the installation was, let's go through the pros and cons of them. But before we get into it, I will have you know these are by far the best roof racks I've had since the beginning. That being said, I've only had two others, but in comparison to my friend that has a hitch mount, it's about just as fast. So what I've got on here now is my mountain bike or enduro bike, which has the longest wheelbase that I have available to me directly. And this is really going to answer one of the questions that was brought up in the comments, which is really, can I open my trunk fully with a bike on the back? So here it is with, again, the longest wheelbase I have and the trunk will open, no problem. And in fact, I still have clearance. The other one that was brought up is one I was honestly thinking of as well initially is whether or not it makes sense to be driving around without a bike on them in terms of really a few things, just the airflow of it as well as what they brought up is when they're lying there on their own and do they bounce around. So as far as stability goes when they're resting without a bike, the one that I debated to leave it as when driving was like that. Now with that said, it's kind of redundant because it makes your car pretty loud. <laughs> At least I found it did. It wasn't all that silent, but it did work in terms of making sure that it was all rigid. But with that said, when they are loose, it takes quite a bit of force to be able to move this all the way around to your windshield. So if we drop them here, you can really see how much it's gonna take to get it all the way around. So don't get me wrong, it's not like it's hard but it's also not like it's easy either the force to get it up to here on its own with it not like ignoring my reach really would be you'd have to break pretty hard for it to actually actuate much past even that and to put it in perspective i had left it on and driven around a few turns and stopped pretty hard in some cases just to see really how much it would actuate and they stayed silent there wasn't any bumping that i heard on the roof but with those questions at least covered, there's one thing that I do want to bring up specifically with regards to the way that they are sitting when you're running something for a shorter wheelbase. So for instance, when we went through the installation process, we talked about these guys here at the back and then flipping them around to accommodate you so that the ratchet system is facing you and not on the other side. Well, that's a good and a bad thing, unfortunately. I'm going to move my single speed to this side so you can see what I'm talking about exactly. So just for a different point of view here so you can see the full system going up. We're just going to readjust this so it's the size for my 700, which is one thing that's not marked. It goes 28 inch, 27, 5, and 26, which is what I use for my single speed or road bike tires. So this front end is ready now. We're just going to pop it up and then I'll show you specifically what I'm talking about in terms of what's a little bit, uh, a little bit interesting in terms of dealing with. So simply put, pop it up as you know. That's on there, no problem, okay? So it's the back where it gets a little different. So we're gonna jump you guys all the way into here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So for me right now, right where my bar is, is really where my rear wheel wants to rest, right? So it's just past it, just past the bar. Now in terms of getting this to fit, I bring it up, the wheel's resting in there just fine, but look exactly where that ratchet is now. Now it's right on the bar. And so this is where it becomes a little different, it just depends what your bar spacing is. Now the nice thing is you can twist it a little bit to kind of make it go through but it's that extra bit that you kind of have to fight to get it to fit a shorter wheelbase. And that I believe sums it up. If there's anything further you guys do want to know, by all means, just reach out in the comments down below. I'll obviously get back to you. And if there's enough of them, I'll make another video just in terms of answering particular spots that you guys want to know. But long story short, I 100% recommend getting these. It's so fluid taking the bikes anywhere really, whether it's putting them on, taking them off, even installing the trays, just the customization of them, flipping them for left or right, whatever your preference is, nice and easy and smooth. And like I said, the best benefit by far, my friend has the hitch mount, I have the roof rack mount, and it takes me virtually the same amount of time to take a bike off or to put a bike on. Take care, I'll see you next week.